In this video, I'm gonna walk you through an introduction to using the Unify products for a dedicated production network for your church. So we've been setting these up recently and really been enjoying using the Unify products. We have a Dream Machine Pro, and then we have a switch right here, up here in the tech booth. We have an access point there mounted to the wall. And then we have another switch that's another rack I'll show you in a few moments. It's a good idea to put your production devices on their own dedicated network so that any other network events that are happening at your church for your office or the kids ministry or other types of departments at the church, they don't interfere with your production equipment. And this is especially becoming important as we start using audio and maybe video over networking protocols. And we're using Dante Audio, like this console here has a Dante card in the back of it. It's got a Wave Sound Grid card as well. And you just wanna make sure that your production network is guarded from all of the other network traffic that could be happening at your church. So I'll show you here, this is what our network currently looks like. I'm using the Unify control software here on my computer. You can see here it starts with our internet access with Spectrum Business. We have an internet line that goes to our Dream Machine Pro. So the UDM or the Unify Dream Machine, that's what UDM stands for, is a router for our network. So we have our own dedicated router. This is not a router that has built-in Wi-Fi. That's what our access point is actually for down here, the U7 Pro. But the router's job is to route all the traffic and to assign IP addresses to all of the devices that we put on our network. So from a router, you could see the next step down here is the switch. So USW Unify Switch Pro 24 PoE. We've got one here. This one is actually on stage. And then we've got one here. This one is at front of house. And then you can see everything that's actually currently uh, connected to the various switches. We have a lot more plugged in here at front of house than we do on stage. And then you can even tell here what devices are connected to the Wi-Fi access point. So you can tell how intuitive the software is and the topology of this diagram is just very helpful in not only knowing what the state of this network is, but also uh, if you're trying to learn how network infrastructure works, this makes it all make sense and it's not just a bunch of IT jargon. Another thing that's great about the Unify ecosystem is that it's very easy for management. So for us, when we're installing systems, we have these various sites that we install. So here we actually have the Westwood Church uh, site. And then down here, this is the one for our church front HQ office here, where I've also put some uh, gear into place. So let me go back to the Westwood Church top topology here. So again, you can see the bigger picture of everything right here. And there are three primary pieces of equipment, and then obviously you have like the CAT6 cabling that you're gonna use to, to connect everything. But there's three different pieces of equipment that are really important when you're going the this route with Unify equipment. First, you need the Dream Machine router, then you're gonna need some switches, and then you're gonna need an access point. This establishes the foundation of having a local area network dedicated to your production ministry that can be wired. It can also have PoE connectivity for those devices that need PoE like Dante AVO adapters or maybe cameras like NDI cameras uh, that can be powered over ethernet. And then you also have a Wi-Fi network dedicated for your production team. So then you are able to mix in your monitors and do other activities like that over your production network. So if I go to devices view here, now you're gonna see a list of all of our devices. So I've got my Dream Machine Pro router, I've got the stage switch, the front of house switch, and then the front of house access point. It's very easy to add new devices. You simply plug the device into a switch or a Dream Machine, it's gonna show up here and you can just adopt the device to the Dream Machine. So the Dream Machine is kind of like the parent of all of these various devices down here. And the parent device for the Dream Machine is gonna be the device that you plug into the WAN or WAN network port, the, the wide area network port, um, that's gonna supply internet to the router and then you can then supply internet to all your switches and your access points. What's also great about Ubiquity is if I go down here to settings 
and you can see I have a Wi-Fi network configured called WW Audio for our production network. And then if I go down here, these are the actual VLANs we can set up. So I have my default VLAN with an ID of one and my subnet is 192.168.1.0. So basically all of our computers and anything that we want to just to have uh, you know, basic connection to the network for like control purposes, we have them join on this VLAN. And then we have a separate VLAN for Dante. So we can isolate Dante traffic in its own virtual local area network. And that's what VLAN stands for. Own little network within a network to isolate categories of devices um, from, from other ones. So that's a basic overview of the devices with Unify products. And then if I go down here, well, I can see my client devices, everybody on this network. I can go to ports, and then this is where I can select a switch. So let's go to this first switch here. This is the one up front of house. And you can see we've got a Dante connection here. If I select it, I can actually make it uh, a Dante specified Pro AV port right here. And then I can also select the specific VLAN that port needs to be on, which is a dot 50. So this becomes very important when you start getting Dante devices on the network, they need to have the same subnet, um, which is these, these numbers here, the first three octets need to match up or else Dante is not going to be very happy with you. Um, so you can manage all of that right here very easily. So I can click into any of these ports. I can make them what VLAN I want. I can click over here. You'll see like the access scope here is just on the normal default VLAN. So very, very intuitive and easy to make these changes and manage this network switch. So now that you understand the topology of this a bit more, let me show you the actual devices one more time. So we've got the Dream Machine Pro right here. You can see it's got a few ports, so you can, you know, it actually technically has like a mini switch within it, but you're gonna need bigger switches. So we have a 24 port switch here at front of house and a 24 port switch I'll show you on the stage. So we have this port connection right here. This is the wide area network connection. This is coming from that Spectrum business modem or even could come from another modem router combination. Um, basically the way it just makes it really simple you're not going to have conflicting routers that can be a, a huge nightmare if you just add a switch to your production setup you're not actually creating a separate network you need to actually have a separate router which the dream machine is fulfilling uh, in this scenario so you put the router in front of everything else so then you can uh, assign all the right IP addresses and VLANs and keep everything organized so Wherever else you have internet coming from, again, it might be another modem router that you have on site at your church, maybe coming from the office. I would plug it into here for the wide area network. This is gonna be your internet feed. And then from here, you're gonna make a connection to your uh, switches. So we have uh, a short cable going down to this first 20 port for switch right here. And these are connections to Dante. These are just general network connections over here. Now let's go look at the other rack on stage. So here we are on stage. We have a network cable that's running all the way up here from front of house and has a direct run to that other switch I just showed you. And here we have another 24 ports. So you can get different switches of different sizes from uh, uh, that are Unify switches from Ubiquity. And um, you start plugging in your devices, right? So I, I just designated this first port here to be a Dante connection because this is for our tracks computer right here. So when I go to the computer, I go to Dante virtual sound card, I'm gonna see I have the right IP address here with a dot 50, so it's on the right VLAN. And that's it, that's how you set up a dedicated network for your worship and production ministry using the Unify products by Ubiquity. Ubiquity is the company, Unify is the product line. So Unify has that free control, control software. That's what's cool about that software too, is like you're not having to subscribe to a license to anything. It actually just comes with any equipment that you buy. You mainly, you do need to get a dream machine, right? To, to have an actual router. So you're not subscribing to any software there. I wish I would have known about this a long time ago. Uh, we're still relatively new to using Unify products, but so far so good. Very uh, easy and quick to get up and running and to support and to maintain. So I highly recommend. If you would like our team to help you set up this type of network infrastructure at your church, definitely reach out to us at churchfront.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.